Hey guys, today I am going to show you this awesome game that will show you programming. It's a pretty good game, it's called uh, Code Combat. Alright, let's get started. I already created a file on here, I'm pretty far in it, but I'm just going to show you the basics of it. Alright, let's start with the first level. You can see that I got a bunch of stuff in here, but when you first begin, because I've been playing this a while, I've almost actually been in this game. Uh, when you begin, you don't have all this stuff. All you have is um, all you have is your shoes, basically. But later on, you get more stuff pretty easily. You collect gems, and then you go to the item store and. You, with your gems, you can purchase items, or sometimes uh, certain levels will give you items. Alright. And, like, your helmet and stuff like that. Like this one. will give you 37 health. It gives you health, or um, your weapon will do damage and stuff like that. Things will do certain things. Like, this book is a loop book where it allows you to do a loop, which at the beginning of the game, you're not allowed to loop at all. Alright. Let's begin. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to show you. You can change your characters. But it, this game is completely free. But if you play the uh, free version, you're not going to unlock all these other characters at all. You have to actually pay money. So yeah, and I don't mind. These are two very good characters. I like playing as her. If you see, they both have the same damage and health and speed. There's no difference there. So, uh, and then you go here, and this is where you change the programming language. Any language you can, you can choose. You can choose Python, JavaScript, CoffeeScript, Conjuring, Leo, and Lo. So I prefer CoffeeScript because you know. I just prefer it because it's just a better language, and plus, that's why I'm trying to learn right now. I already know JavaScript, so there's no point of me uh, playing JavaScript when I already know how to write in JavaScript. The point of this game is to teach you how to actually to type that language and learn that language and all that. Okay. Let's begin one. Avoid the spice, collect the gem, bonus, no code problems. Alright, as you can see, this is my code right here. My original code. Very simple, only three lines. But I am going to erase that and show you how to do this. And remember, this is in CoffeeScript. Alright, so we're going to move right. When you do this, this letter right here must be capitalized, and you must have these two, or it will not work. As you see, it works. I'm going to show you what would happen if you don't capitalize that. You have to make sure everything is capitalized right and everything in a programming language, or it won't work. Let's do a lowercase r. As you can see, it says uh, fix your code, saying that there's a problem with your code, all because I didn't capitalize that. So, let's capitalize it. Alright, now it works. Right. We're going to type other codes. Move down. Also, if you don't know what the code is, you can go down here and it will tell you what it does and also how to actually type it in. So, it's 
pretty useful. When you're done with your code, hit run. Oh, I have a problem. Oh. Typo. <laughs> there, it should work now. And basically when it says done or it says successful over here, you did it successfully. Then you hit it. And yeah. I already did this level, so these gems will not count. I had 59, and I'm still going to have 59. It's not going to add extra gems to it. It's not going to add 26 extra gems to it. As you can see, I, I have 58 gems in level 11. Huh. Is that a new level? Subscribe. Unlock 17 extra levels with 5 new ones every week. More powerful heroes, 3,500 bonus gems every month, over 250 bonus items. Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. It's asking me to pay for all this stuff. So, yeah, if you want to pay 10 bucks and they're going to keep asking you to pay, you can do that. But I prefer to play it free. You can play it free, but it is a little bit harder. And you're not going to get these characters unlocked at all. Um, the levels you can still unlock, all these items you can still unlock, but you have to collect the gems, so. As you can see, I did all of this level. There's only two levels on this whole entire game, and as you can see, I got this far. All I have left is up to here, and then the game's over. So I basically, honest, completed this whole entire game without paying anything you can do it but it's a little difficult but it's worth it all right i'm going to show you a way harder code i'm going to show you how hard it gets but that's the fun about it all right so when you're on this it will show you items restricted so make sure you do not have these type of items on your character or it won't work and then these are just items that are locked that you haven't bought yet. Alright. Let's begin. It won't let me hit play. Yeah, sometimes this can be glitchy. So, just exit out. And then just go back in. And... Let me make sure. Ah! Alright. The difference between these boots and the boots I just put away. These boots, you just tell them. Hang on. These boots, you basically just tell them the, uh, the move. And these boots. These boots right here. These boots, you just tell them to move in an area. These boots right here, which right now is just being glitchy, have move X, Y. So basically, let's say this is a map, you pick a point, and then you put the X, Y coordinates of it, and it will move there. Instead of telling it to move right or left, you tell you put numbers in, tell it exactly where to move. And it will show you on the map where to move to, so. Ah, it's being glitchy. Let's try another level. If it's not going to work, I'll just show you where to buy items and stuff like that. And it's not working, okay. So, so sometimes you can get this. Sometimes if you load back out and come back in, it will work better, but I'm not going to worry about it. Because I don't have much time for this video. Okay, so you hit this treasure chest. And you can buy new items. Like this flag. That's actually new. This wasn't here before. Like I said, uh, before they updated this. it's This is a, a more updated version. It's better. But you can go through here. See, like this is 40 gems. You buy it. You can go through here and buy it. Like I have enough for that, but I don't really want it. Go through here, buy, buy books, stuff like that. What's this? 
Instead of using that pickup flag to go to flag and then remove it, you can now remove a flag from anywhere. Huh. Pretty useful. So, yeah. That will be... That's basically it. It's pretty fun. Oh, I unlocked this. Let's see if this will work. It works. Okay. Um, come on. Load. Yes. Okay. It says, if debugging is the process of removing bugs, the program must be a process of putting them in. What? Beat the enemy hero in 45 seconds. Uh, I don't have enough time to do this because it's quite a lot of code to do this. But this is basically code hero and it will teach you a lot about programming. It's pretty worth to learn it. So that 